Hello everyone, my name is Guilherme Tepetino Hernandez. I represent the Brazilian law firm Castro Barros. Uh, I'm based in Rio, we also have office in Sao Paulo and Brasilia are capital. It's very hard to talk right after <coughs> my friends Francisco and uh, I have good friends from Argentina and uh, I can't compete with them. I don't brought fancy slides, <laughs> no jokes, <laughs> a picture of Pelé, <laughs> and the numbers in soccer, etc. Lucio de Leche, nothing. Uh, I have a, a short presentation. Uh, how? Is it here? Okay. I have a short presentation, and it's a great pleasure to talk, <coughs> to talk about opportunities of doing business in Brazil. We are facing a very good moment after 16 years of the left party, four elections in a row, we change from January and we elect Bolsonaro, that is this extreme right. So what happens in Argentina, happening again in Brazil also, and we put our former president, Lula in jail. So uh, it's, uh, it's amazing because we survive, we, we export know-how in corruption, in bribery, and etc. and we survive. So uh, uh, I'm not going to, to enter into details, but we are very optimistic with all we are living right now. Now we have oppor real opportunities and the country is serious, stabilized in economic and politic in political sector, but there, there are about 300 politicians in jail and much more to come investigated. And uh, I'm very happy to, to see my country turning and surviving uh, this situation. So uh, we have a continental size, I, I didn't, bring the, the map. Sorry, Argentina, if I put the map uh, <laughs> pictures. Uh. So we have a population of 200 million people. It's a huge market. We have a coast of more than 10,000 kilometers of beaches. And uh, for sure, we have opportunities in, in all areas. As I said, we are a strong democracy with basically the three powers, the executive, the legislative, and the judicial power. And they work very well, and this uh, was the reason why we survive to the socialism that took place for the 16 years. So we are basically in code, we have our civil law in code and procedural code, and uh, uh, very stable, and you can have your investment in Brazil. I, I help foreign clients doing business in Brazil for more than 20 years, and I, I've never seen nothing like happening, and sorry, Pedro, in Venezuela, stuff like that. Although we almost reached Venezuela for the last 16 years, uh, Lula was the best friend of Chavez, and. Castro's and etc. But we turn, and, uh, and now we have our rights duly protect. We have a lot of security in, in, in rights, in property, and etc. So I'm very proud of that. So we have a lot of expectation now. Uh, today we have 30 days only of this new governor this new president, they, they are cleaning up everything. They are changing more than 3,000 people in the, in the governor. It's amazing the, the, the cleaning up that he's doing. And he is working on, as a, a main flag, social security reform. And uh, also the main flag is anti-corruption rules. Uh, uh, also is a flag. The, the flexibilization of the labor legislation in order to take out all the bureaucracy and the burdens, tax, tax burdens. So we tend to simplify all the tax structure, all the labor structure, 
and we are in a good way to reform uh, a lot in this sense. So this comes to the best uh, uh, announce that the government could say, and they said in Davos, Brazil is on sale. More than 300 company, state-owned companies will be in somehow sell. They want to make cash. So this will going to pass this year and the, uh, and the year of 2020. So we have opportunities in mind. <coughs> we have a lot of industry, uh, 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 all kind of industry. We do everything, a little bit of everything in Brazil. But uh, uh, foreign investments are welcome in all these, these areas. We have 40% uh, of, of our GDP uh, uh, due to the agricultural industry. Uh, we have these numbers of produce of sugarcane, coffee, and etc. As, as my friend from Miami said, uh, U.S. is uh, a great uh, trader with Brazil. I'm not sure if today the direct investment from U.S. is uh, higher than the China one. Uh, uh, we would love to go to China to do a, an event like that because China is investing a lot in our region. And uh, so U.S. is becoming more, uh, 16 years ago, when I was living here, uh, the, the trade between Brazil and U.S. was like 25% uh, of direct investment from U.S. in Brazil. With the Lula and Sosa, uh, with these 16 years, dropped from 25% to 12%. And now it's becoming higher. Bolsonaro and, and Trump, I'm not a fan of Trump or not, but now I, I believe that the Bolsonaro and, and Trump will uh, engage and uh, try to have this relationship between Brazil and the U.S. in a, a better form that we used to have. So we have opportunities saying all infrastructure sector, they announce privatization of ports, roads, airports, railroads, the main airport of Rio, uh, uh, Santos Dumont, the main airport in Sao Paulo, Congonhas. We already have the authorization to privatize the Rio de Janeiro water and sewage company, SEDAI. Uh, so we have a projection to grow more than 30% in the construction uh, uh, industry also. Also, is a, 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 a tendency to legalize casinos. There are, uh, although <coughs> it's not allowed in Brazil, there is a lobby, an official lobby, to allow casinos. Uh, last week, we, we had a, a, a decree saying flexibilizing the possession of weapons. So this is, was a, a, the campaign of Bolsonaro, and uh, he accomplished. So now in Brazil you can buy a weapon. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not, not going to discuss if it's good or not, but is the, the one of his flags and, uh, and the concession of bank lines and etc. So I do believe that in Brazil the, 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 the rates, the interest rates will drop in order to give credit to entrepreneurs and investors and uh, take out the bureaucracy that we used to have. Because every, every time that you have a bureaucracy, you have the, the price of the bureaucracy. And so we, have, we were very used to the, the cost of Brazil. Now Brazil is becoming cheaper, and uh, it's a good moment to look at Brazil and uh, <coughs> try to get some opportunity in this couple of years. So uh, this is the last uh, uh, slide. Uh, as I said, I'm, I'm in Rio. Uh, we have offices in Sao Paulo. We cover all Brazil. I'm always in the north of Brazil. I, uh, I have the salt industry as clients. 
and also we are in Brasilia. I will be more than glad to answer all your questions and address everything. My email is in the end, and I hope you have a lot of fun here because it's, it's a best opportunity to have seven countries talking about opportunities in, in each country. So thank you very much for your attention.